Our 3D drawing interface begins with a predetermined camera. The first line the user draws is embedded in the ground plane, initializing the 3D scaffold and determining the primary vanishing points. Drawing a line to a vanishing point creates a guideline. Tracing along guidelines creates well-defined 3D segments, and intersecting them results in right angles. If we skip guidelines and draw freehand, the system assumes we mean to draw well-defined lines at right angles to existing segments and ending on the guidelines. The system also understands intersections, so if we draw accurately enough, complex 3D scaffolds can be sketched without any guidelines at all. Notice that the guidelines have faded away, reducing clutter in the drawing. Our inference system also understands curves drawn relative to the scaffold. We can intersect guidelines to locate the 3D points necessary to complete this shape. Unrecognized strokes, shown here in blue, are saved as view-dependent annotations, which fade away when the camera is rotated. Viewpoint bookmarks are automatically generated and the most frequently used are shown in the bottom right. When strokes are drawn nearby, the system automatically tries to use this new information to interpret unrecognized strokes. We also include an eraser tool. After erasing, the system checks to see if it can now understand the stroke. Our 3D strokes still have a 2D representation, so we can apply a raster-based area eraser. However, cleaning up the junctions would erase parts we want to keep, so our eraser snaps to the nearest segment when it is close by, allowing precise erasing. We automatically group strokes, and the artist can interpolate between their original strokes and clean lines. Here we try to draw a square, but it's difficult to freehand accurate dimensions in perspective views. Drawing a tick mark copies the dimension to the intersecting guideline, allowing us to draw a precise circular arc. Our geometry inference techniques collect constraints from the scaffold to determine which line is more likely allowing the right stroke to be generated in this ambiguous case. In the absence of other constraints, our system has a strong bias for planar curves, but it's difficult to control shape when drawing freehand. If we add guidelines, the system interprets them as precise tangent constraints. In this case, the system fits a curve that projects well to the stroke, but the 3D shape is not what we intended. Adding constraint points and tangent directions to the scaffold allows us to be more precise. When possible, our inference system also tries to constrain curves to reflective symmetry. It is also usually able to ignore constraint points that the stroke accidentally passes through, because these produce undesirable 3D curves. In this example, we draw several curves on a scaffold of line segments. Even though there are many possible distractor constraints, our inference technique generates sensible curves with pleasing 3D shapes.